Hi everyone, I'm Grace Ambrook from Heart Soul Expansion. I want to thank the girls for inviting me into the, into the course to talk about two aspects of your brilliance and of your success. The first one is worth and self-worth and the second one is forgiveness. So I have some different uh, uh, paradigms and some different outlooks that will support you to really shift these concepts that are of significant uh, uh, hurdles and obstacles in creating the success that you're choosing uh, and that you know is available for you. So come with me on this on this ride. I, as I said, I have been um, I've been working with people and energy for uh, some decades now and I do take a different perspective on things and because they're perspectives that help people shift past uh, blocks and limitations that have been uh, inhibiting them you know for years. So to begin with today I just wanted to say that um, I acknowledge the self-worth story and uh, I've been in it too and it's so interesting, though, because we can question our self-worth and know that there is more for us at the same time. And that's because that knowing is actually like niggling away at the lie that you're telling yourself about the lack of worth and am I worthy to actually have this and how come I can have it and somebody else cannot have it And because the truth is that we can all have it. And so then the, the worth story gets set up as an energy that separates you from the truth of who you are and the truth of what you know is possible for you. So it's one of those separation stories. And it wouldn't be a bother if you didn't actually know that there was something else for you. So, you know, you're already touching the truth. This is what you know. What you know is there's something else for you. And the lie and the, the misconceptions and perceptions around self-worth showing up as the energy that's saying, well, this is in the way because you're running this story of self-worth. But actually what you know is that there is actually more for you. So today we're going to connect you back into that truth of you. Um, because when we connect to the truth, all the lies and the patternings and the mind wanting to take over, all of those have an opportunity to collapse, dissolve and, and, and disappear. So let's just spend a minute or two. So this helps to hone in the energy so that the transformation process that we go through further on can be as deep and as effective as possible for you. So worth actually means, um, you know, is it sufficiently good or is it important enough or interesting enough to be regarded with a certain amount of um, credibility, you know? So, uh, you know, are you worthy enough and important enough and clever enough to be regarded with uh, this credibility? The answer is yes. That's where we're going. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the worth story. And it, um, the worth was also, um, I look because I like to look up the etymology and the dictionary description of issues and, you know, instances that we're dealing with to, to unravel them a little bit more. I'm going to drop in a little pearl for you here as, as well, is that, you know, when you have strong intentions, intentions actually expand your purpose. So as the girls are working with you, it's like your intention expands your purpose. Why are you here? This is why moving this worth, worth story is, is so valuable for you. But um, one of the other things is the level at which someone or something deserves to be valued or rated is also the energy that we're going into and all the stories that you have and all the projections, um, the things that you've been told of not being worthy, the ones that you made up for yourself, the ones that others have, have um, made up around you or you've perceived they've made up around you. And so we're going to change that picture because you know what the most amazing thing is that when we have a different picture, we create a different possibility. That's why it's so important that we shift this worth story because when you have a picture of your own worth, you will create different possibilities. So as we go through this process, you may find some of my wording a little unusual and um, but I'm hoping that you can just relax into it and 
receive the transformation that is uh, possible here for you. So um, I think we will, yes, I think we will go straight into the process. So what I would like you to do is to find yourself in a, in a comfortable position. It is something I would recommend that you, you don't do while you're driving or you're focusing on something else. So we just need a few minutes for you to actually drop into some different energy here. So if I could have your full attention, uh, you will receive the greatest transformation possible here. So just get a few things um, sorted for a minute, put everything down, phones off, emails off, all of those bits and bobs. And take a beautiful breath and allow yourself to relax. And on your out breath, uh, I invite you to exhale a little longer than normal. So almost turning into a sigh. So breathing in. <sighs> the breath just then wants to make a sound if you like. And with this breath, there's an invitation for you to come more and more into your body, no matter how worthy you feel that body is at this point, I want you just to drop in to that body. Just be in your being and in your body and feel how you can begin to uh, rest there. Just rest in the body. You're, you're not at what needs to be done next. You're actually in the body and present to my voice and present to you. And there's an invitation for your mind to just take the back seat for a minute. Time off, mind. You can relax. Just quieten down. Just take a seat. Just for a moment or two. So we're allowing the mind to actually rest. Might be a beautiful time to take another deeper breath out. And if you would like to move your body into something that feels more comfortable, please do that because each time you just allow the breath to help you relax, sometimes it's just nice to move the hips or the shoulders. Shift things around a little bit. And imagine now that you're moving into the space of the heart. The heart is the landing platform for your soul and your greater capacities and your brilliances. And in this place of the heart, there is no judgment, no assessment. There's actually this, this lightness, there's this eternalness, there's this infiniteness, and there's this quietness. So bringing your focus, I mean, just imagining that you're actually at the centre of your heart. It's almost like you're in the temple of you. Where everything is known, where there's all this wisdom, where there's a certain architecture of the temple that suits you perfectly. It's your design. And in this space of peace and wisdom, I just want to acknowledge that there is a worth story going on. You don't have to accept it or allow it, but just go, I know I've been running this worth story. So we're not denying anything. It's just that they, these stories are just like cobwebs that's been created by, or it's kind of created in the gap that sits between the truth of you and all the judgment and all the stories 
and experiences of whether you're worthy or not. So it's just in that gap. There's all these cobwebs, that's all. That's all it is. And imagine that if by the power of your breath, you could actually blow away all of those cobwebs. Just imagine that. Oh, yes. And because you know exactly how to do this, you're in your temple. The temple of the truth of who you are, where all the lies and the limitations suddenly just don't really, like they're not really you. You can see that, you can feel that. So any of those cobwebs created by all the judgments and the stories and the things, the stories you've made up for yourself, the stories that others have told, told you you are or you're not, just imagine them all as yucky cobwebs. I know, horrible, hey? Ugh. And then take a breath, one of your biggest, most powerful breaths, and breathe out at the cobwebs. <sighs> Wow. Powerful, huh? You have the power to breathe away all of the lies, all of the stories, all of the cobwebbing, all the judgments in one breath. We can do it again because you know what? It's fun. Let's take another breath. So anywhere there are cobwebs in your temple created by the stories about your worth or lack of worth, because of what you've done or what you haven't done and who you are and who you haven't not been and why you haven't succeeded and why you should have succeeded and whether that was a mistake and whether that wasn't a mistake. Any and all of those, all the cobwebs, another breath in, big breath in. As flimsy as cobwebs. And there's all this space, all of this space, all of this space. And all of, in this clear space, what if your worth has absolutely nothing to do with your past or your future or your present? What if your space, sorry, what if your worth is actually something else entirely? What if it's much simpler? and clearer. What if it's this sensation of you in your temple, you with the power of your breath? What if your worth is actually in your connection, your relationship to you, your knowing of you? That's all it is. It's you to you nobody else's business. Ah, oh. it's you knowing you. That's your worth. You knowing you. You knowing you as a spark of light. Infinite in nature, human by choice, but always this infinite light, always, all of that. Let's drop into that space, that knowing, none of the questions, just that knowing, just the energy, just the feeling. Feel the light of you. Again, this might be a nice place to just move your body a little bit. Let's drop in more deeply into the light of you where there are no stories. There's infinite light, infinite possibility, infinite potential and infinite love an infinite knowing of what else can actually be created 
through you as you is you. This is the home of your worth. This connection, this space, this light, this frequency. This is your truth, your light, your power, your wisdom, your contribution, your knowing, your commitment, your courage. And you know, all of those other things, they're just opinions. Judgments, it's not the truth. Your worth is the truth. And it's from this place you get to choose from. This place you get to choose what to receive, what to give, what to create. From this space is where you envision what you create for your life. From this space. has nothing to do with the past or the present or the future, nothing to do with what you have done, what you haven't done, what you could have done, what you shouldn't have done, and what you will do and what you won't do. Completely irrelevant. Your worth is in the truth of the light of who you are. Imagine all of the weight of the heaviness of all of the stories can now actually really fall away from you. Imagine all the weight of all those stories of wondering how you get your worth, what you have to do to be worthy. How can you convince yourself and others of your worthiness and your potential and your possibilities? Just imagine all of that weight, all of that story, all of those judgments can actually just fall away because you are choosing, if you choose, to connect to this light, this power, this home of worth in the temple of you. That's the only place you're ever going to really feel and sense and know. And now you know that. What will you do with this knowing now? What can you choose from this place now? What success can you create with this knowing now? What more time and energy do you now have available to create and share and contribute when you're not running this story of finding your worth somewhere? It's like your worth's always with you. It's never left you, not in this life, not in any other life, and it will never leave you. It is a constant. And anything less than that is just a lie. And you get to choose the truth or the lie. Another beautiful breath, letting the shoulders relax. The heart feels lighter and brighter, body feels freer. Feeling your feet on the ground, wriggling your fingers, fluttering your beautiful eyelids, bringing your focus back into the room. And going, yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, here we go, here we go. Now we can start, yeah, totally receiving more, gifting more, sharing more, because you're free to actually step out of all the time spent on worth stories into the truth of who you are and learning more that the girls are sharing with you and bringing that into your reality and choosing from this space of worth in all that you do from here on in. So thank you for spending the time in this. And as I said, um, 
the it would be really uh, beneficial to listen to the second video, uh, which is around forgiveness because of all of the judgments that you will have made in relationship to the worth story. And so we take a deep dive into a completely different way <laughs> of, uh, of working with forgiveness. But again, it, it'll be that second level of, level of liberation and of freedom uh, that uh, will just really exponentialize what else is shared in the course with you because your receptivity to that um, will be greater because we're not running old stories. And uh, yes, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you in the forgiveness video shortly. Bye for now. Much love.